Hi everyone, it's Damon here from Fender Guitars at Rich Tone Music in Sheffield. Bit of a special day today because Rich Tone have just become a Fender Custom Shop dealer. Um, Fender Custom Shop is obviously the right, the, the, the very top end of what Fender does. We're talking about hand built guitars uh, built by the best luthiers that Fender can employ using the very best woods that, that Fender can source. So we only uh, give custom shop to a certain percentage of dealers, not many people do it, so to be able to do it is uh, it's quite a special thing for a store, so um, pop down to, to Rich Tone, they've just taken delivery of their first lot of guitars, they've sold some already, but uh, come down and have a look, try some stuff out, uh, have a chat with the guys here and try some of these very special guitars. So The first one we're going to look at today is a fabulous 1956 heavy relic. Uh, Strat, Stratocaster. Um, for those of you uh, who don't know about relicing, the idea behind these guitars is, is basically to build a guitar that's as close to an original 1956 guitar in terms of vibe, and sound and feel. Not necessarily exactly the same, the feel thing, because we'll, we'll talk about that as the neck is slightly different. So, as you can see, I'm going to do this so you can see this beautiful ash body, fantastic rain. Two-tone sunburst, obviously, because it's a 50s guitar. Turn it round, you can see the relicking on the back of the guitar there. It looks absolutely fantastic. Now, as you can probably see, it's got a fairly chunky neck on it there. So that's a kind of a, a fairly sizable, soft V profile. Um, I personally think, and I know a lot of people do, and the guys at the custom shop, that a guitar with a bigger, thicker neck should have a bigger tone has probably as much effect on the tone of the guitar uh, as the pickups do. So a nice big neck. Now the one thing that we have changed on this guitar is that it has a flat fretboard. Okay, a vintage guitar will have a curved 7.25 inch fretboard. This one has like a modern 9.5, so it's a flat fretboard. Also 6105 Dunlop frets. So they're bigger, chunkier frets. And these pickups are fat 50 pickups. So, how does it sound? Ash body, maple neck, fat 50s pickups. It's going to sound fairly bright and chimey and responsive. <laughs> pickups that's the middle and the bridge together now one thing I always say when I'm working on custom shop stuff doing custom shop stuff is strangely enough it sounds very very stratty um, that's because these guitars are it's as close to a vintage guitar as you're ever going to get so the classic sounds that we've heard and we love we've heard all the way through the years um, on numerous albums hundreds thousands of albums whether it be Buddy Holly or Hendrix or Stevie Ray Vaughan or Floyd or Chili Peppers whoever it is you know we know those sounds we know what they sound like and these guitars the custom shop guitars are as close as you'll ever get to that so bridge pickup <laughs> Between sound there. Middle pick up. Middle and neck. Thank you. 
finally, the necks. And these are fat 50s, don't forget. So we've got all the sparkle and the chime that you expect from a 50 style pickup. 50 style pickups are usually fairly low output from a bright sounding. So, the neck. <laughs> Amazing, sounds just like a strat does, just like a strat should. So let me just put a little bit of uh, gain on the amp now. I'm using a supersonic 22 here. I'll go through the pickup combinations again very quickly. So first off, bridge. <laughs> two together. settings sound so five very different but very very usable sound so just come in a rich tone music in Sheffield so if you've never tried a custom shop guitar you want to know what all the fuss is about come down play a guitar like this and you will see what all the fuss is about <laughs> 